How's it going everybody? My bad here. Coming in today with a maintenance video of the K390 Man Bug and the Pyra 3 in Maximant with the salted red corn goodness and the skinny mod and the forced patinas. So, let's get down to it. The reason why I'm doing this maintenance video is because this thing's been through the ringer. It's been in a bag for a couple of months while I was moving and I guess some um, moisture got to it or it had some rust and the rust grew. grew. So let's see that other side. Ooh, that's nasty. We're definitely going to have to do some maintenance on that bad boy. At least at the end of this there's going to be some great, great patina added to this one. Now this one's maximum. It was in that same bag for that same amount of time. It's already got a, a forced patina on it as well, but I don't see any uh, visible rust, but we're going to go ahead and take it apart, um, do some maintenance on it just to be preventative because my bad doesn't want, this is my bad's favorite knife and he doesn't want anything bad happening to it, even though I left it in the bag for two months and couldn't find it. But let's get down to it. Let's do the bad one first. We'll put this one to the side. Grab our handy dandy little tool. See if this is a T6, which I'm hoping it is, but I don't think it is. It is, so that's a good thing. I'm not a big fan of T6, but on a small knife such as this, I understand it. Let's move this over here. I like this better. I'm a little bit bigger. I got big freaking, well, not big, but fat little fingers that one ain't working so let's see about the t5 t5 is working so thank god we'll go right there with the t6 and let's get the t5 and let's bust her out oh, maybe get a little play on her I might need a little, might need a little coercion. Let's bust this bad boy out right here. I know that these come apart. They're so damn hard to get there. I don't want to damage the FRM because it's fragile enough. There, right, I got the blade out. And here comes the pivot. That doesn't come out, that doesn't come out. I'm going to leave this in here and I'm going to stick that back in there and I'm just going to lube the crap out of it because I don't want to mess this thing up. I wonder if that was what was happening. I don't know. Not really. Understand that one. This this piece isn't spinning. Ooh, I just caught the crap out of that. Right, back up for sure. Well, learned a few things about this knife. First time I ever really attempted to take it apart. So this is fun. All right, let's leave that alone before all my bad messes it up. Let's get us a paper towel. We got our little pivot right here. We'll do it last. Let's do our blade first. Throw a generous amount of alcohol on it because alcohol is cheap. And it's good to clean with in abundance. I'm going to have to flip that over a few times. Let's keep rubbing. Rubbing the rust out. Let's 
got Seiki City Japan on the inside of it. And it says Spyderco K390. And my bad loves is K390, but you really, really got to stay on top of your maintenance with it. And my bad did not. So. We're going to have to figure out how to get this thing right. And it just may take an entire video to get this one right. We may have to do the pair of three light, uh, next. On the next video, make two videos out of this. Which I thought this might be a little bit easier, but it's not. And I know the camera's shaky. Sorry about that. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna throw a little gunny glide on that, see if that gunny glide takes any of this off. Because that was a pretty hardcore rust. Oh yeah, that did pretty good. Cleaned it up a lot. You know. Woo, better keep my hand away from that blade. That K390 is still sharp. I can't remember what I sharpened this last with. I think it was when I had the diamonds on the Lansky, but since then I've upgraded to that KME. That KME, I know is a beast. So I might have to hit this with KME just because. Either that or hit it with Stripe. Stripe sounds more economical to me. I got some 8,000 grip diamond paste on a Stripe. Man, that stuff's a beast too. It's extremely fine grit, but man, if you're talking about polishing something up a little bit, you just keep working the alcohol and the oil over the blade over and over and over again. That's got such a dark patina once you get through the rust on the upper portion. Well, I don't think I'm going to get it all out, so I'm not extremely knowledgeable on how to uh, knock this stuff off except for the use of vinegar, and I really don't want to use vinegar on this. I may hit it lightly with some vinegar, so let me pause the video real quick and go get some. Alright, we're back. Got me a little white vinegar slash sukang pudi in the philippines they use quite a bit of white vinegar and it's called sukang pudi so hopefully i ain't gotta soak it in the sukang pudi hopefully i can just wipe it off with the with egg towel that stuff i do not like it wow I just took quite a bit off this side. Let's try this. Now, this is an acidic and it can eat through your steel. It could also give it a fabulous patina if. if you know how to do that kind of thing, which my bad does not know how to do it. But it's not coming off, so we're gonna put it 
in the cup with the sukane pudi, the white vinegar. And we're gonna let it set for 30 minutes and I'm gonna pause you guys and I'll be right back. Now, I actually just let it set in here for about 10 minutes, but it's getting pretty late and I gotta get up at five in the morning, so. I really don't have uh, time to let this soak too much and uh, do another video. So, <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and pull that one out clean it off see what we can get off of it real fast lube it up real real nice put it back together and maybe do a part two which a little bit come off but not as much as i would like but we're definitely going to do a part two to this and in the comments of this video Please give me suggestions on what I should do. You know, about my bag will try it out and give a shout out to everybody that gave me suggestions on what to do. Because I'll tell you what, I really do like this knife. It's probably my favoriteest fifth pocket knife. what it looks like with a little bit of lube on it you can still see the rust and that's what the other side looks like not nearly as bad so there's some stuff in here so let's drown it in alcohol alcohol's cheap I like 90 something cents for that bottle. So I'll use that stuff. But I do not care about alcohol. I wished, I wished, I wished, and I'm gonna stop wishing and go buy it after. Probably gonna go buy it tomorrow. Had some cotton balls. My wife's got cotton balls. I don't have any. And I guess I could go get hers, but I don't like mixing her stuff up with mine. We do completely different things, and when we need it, it ain't there because, well, I'll take it. And so she'll, so, sh so will she. How does this thing go in here? I ought to put the blade in there first, to be honest with you. Sorry. Probably cannot see the dumb shittery that is going on right now. got it in there so I'm gonna try a trick see if I can get it to go T6 took it out, but it didn't go back in there. 
go too far. Yeah, that's not even going to touch. I'm going to have to figure out. Just don't know. So, pop that thing out. Pour out. Yes. See if I can get a look. I believe I see it, so let's give it a shot. And that was it. Thank God. Got it that time. Had to pry it open. See where that notch was. Because it's not exactly a circle. It's got a D in it. So the pivot will stay put. When you put this mess back together. Let's see how tight it is. It's not tight at all. Feels good. Got a little play in it. So let's tighten her back up a little bit more. Hmm. That was a ton of play play. I'm just all thumbs tonight. I am just all thumbs tonight. I believe I've messed it up pretty good.
Well, put the pivot on the wrong side. So there's another one. Oh, my bad, oopsie. There we go. I think I got it. Try not to do this with the blade out. I'm afraid I'll stab myself. I just made something that's supposed to be extremely simple into something extremely difficult. guys this is going to be a fail um when i mess with it again in a few more days uh, we'll go with part two or i might just uh send this video out of how bad you can mess up a knife <laughs> and uh come back and fix it later because i got, i really need to go to bed in like 30 minutes and i still got another video to shoot and i'm hoping it's not a 20 minute video you guys have a good one. Please like, share, and subscribe. Comment on my bad's videos. Tell my bad how stupid he is. Y'all have a good one now. Bye-bye.